Welcome back to Silent Hill. The last thing we did was explore floor two. If you remember in room 204 at the top left of the map here, that's where the tentacle thing is, which is protecting one of those blocks that I need to put in the door in the nurse's center to progress in the hospital. Over to the ICU place, operating room, operating prep room, room 205, 206, all that stuff. It seems to be my end goal for the moment. So I have one of the blocks, the tentacle thing is protecting one of the blocks, and then on top of that I need to find and get two more blocks. So let's explore floor three. I've explored it a tiny bit, but most of it is not explored. Also a quick note, in some of the previous episodes I was having issues with some graphical glitches. In particular at the end of the lizard fight and a couple other places it seemed like there was maybe maybe it was an in-game cutscene or something where the screen just went black for it for like five or ten seconds and then we've had a couple other very minor rendering issues with like things clipping through doors but the models get rendered on top of it as if it's not actually clipping through it when it should be clipping just some stuff like that so to try to fix that i switched it the emulator from hardware to software emulation and we'll just see if that fixes it, see, see if it looks any different, see if the performance changes. One thing I did notice just right off the bat with software rendering is that if I go into the inventory, notice what was different? Instead of having that weird dithered like burn-in effect with all those super sharp and colorful dots that kind of like basically look like they're burning into the screen, instead of that it just smoothly transitions. I thought that was just either intentional or just an artifact of the dithering or something, but apparently it was just a graphical artifact of the hardware emulation, so it was actually an error. I kind of liked it, to be honest. Alright, third floor. I feel like things also look different, like they look less dithered to me, but I'm not sure. Maybe I just want to see differences because I'm hyper aware of them. Ooh, save point. Out of pistol ammo, so that's why I've started using the shotgun. VCR, it's old but usable. Hmm. I probably need to use that at some point then, when I find a tape. Did Harry mark that on the map? <laughs> okay, so just to be clear, Harry, you thought it was very important to mark that there's a video player in room 302. But you didn't think it was important to mark th that there were tentacles in room 204, or that there's a magical door in the nurse's center. Harry? You're weird. Wasted that last shot, didn't I? It looked like they were staying up. Ooh, I think that's one of the, the things I need to put in the door. Let's reload my shotgun too. Oh no, it's not. It's a steel plate screwed to the wall. Do I have anything that could unscrew it? I.e. a screwdriver. <laughs> I don't think I do. Hey, this looks different. I see a sort of interlacing. Like a liney interlacing effect when I'm scrolling really fast through these items. I don't think that was there in the hardware renderer. Weird. So many subtle changes. Yeah, that thing's not coming off right now, unless I can, like... No, I can't use that. 
Okay, is that marked on the map? It is not. I will do that right now. Okay, marked it down. So let's go check out the bathrooms and then the whole right side of the place. Jesus Christ, this bathroom. <laughs> Fucking hell. Is that one of the tablets? Plate of turtle. Nice. Okay, so I've got two of the four. Oh, fucking Jesus. Fuck this hospital. Yeah, we got two of the four plates. I know where a third one is, but I can't get it yet. storage room. Hopefully there's like a screwdriver or stuff in here. It's got to be something good, right? I think I'll keep using my shotgun until I get a, a bigger store of handgun ammo. Bottles filled with some kind of drug. Better leave it. Oh, is that a blood bag? Blood bag, take it. Huh. You know what? That might be what I need for the tentacles. I was thinking I needed to burn the tentacles. But remember the tentacles were feeding on a pool of blood. So maybe I can use the blood pack to, like, distract them and make them go to a different area or something? I hate that rhythmic noise, it's so strange. It sort of sounds like music, but it also sort of just sounds like a weird piece of machinery banging somewhere. <laughs> 200 milliliters blood pack found in the hospital storage room. That's all of them except for the tentacles, which means I might be able to even get that one too. I might have all the pieces I need. Plate of cat. Is this to the elevator? Ah, it is. But I think... I think the door... Yeah, the door on floor two is locked. I won't be able to unlock it until I get through the weird door in the nurse's center. So going into the elevator to go down to floor two to room 204 is not going to work. I need to go back to the stairs. So that's it for here, right? Yes. Alright. To the tentacles. Question is... How do I use it? Do I just use it on the tentacles? OK. 
Hey, it worked. Nice. Yeah, get over, go over there, boy. Go over there. Yeah. Plate of Hatter. God, the thing is so creepy. Listen to it slurp. Alright, now I gotta figure out that riddle at the nurse's center. Alright, I think I've solved this. This is gonna be a little bit hard to show you without a picture, but uh, maybe not too bad. Four square indentations on the door. Okay, so notice that there's eight indentations in total, but four of them are already in place. So think of it as sort of like a clock, right? You can like, if you start at the very top middle and then go clockwise, you would hit that empty square on the top right and then you'd hit the orange square and then the empty square on the bottom right and then the uh, like purpley square. So think of it like that. I drew a picture of that showing the empty squares and the colored squares and what the colors were. And, and looking at this, looking at the descriptions, I realized each one of these was referring to a color. So it starts with clouds flowing over a hill, which must be the white one that's in the very center top. That's one that's already in place. Then the next one, sky on a sunny day, that is one of the empty places, so I figured, okay, if it's going clockwise or counterclockwise, then the next one should be a color that's already in place. Tangerines that are bitter. Well, the one on the very right that's already in place is orange, so that must be it. And then this would be another empty one, and then this should be the bottom one, violets in the garden. Well, that one's purple, that's gotta be the violets. Empty one, unavoidable sleeping time, that's the black one that's already there. So I kinda use that to calibrate me and realize that, oh, it's going clockwise, starting from the white one, and I need to match up the descriptions with the colors of the ones that I need to put into place. So, for the first one, sky on a sunny day, that's blue, I have a blue one. But then lucky four-leaf clover, four-leaf clover is green, that's my green one. Dandelions along a path, dandelions are yellow, so that's the yellow one. And then the nasty one, liquid flowing from his last wrist, ew, that's the red one. Haven't tried it yet, but I'm confident that's going to work. Oh, do I have to use it for my inventory? I'm going to start going counter um, clockwise, actually. Even though I don't think you need to place them in any particular order. But it just feels right to end with the red one. That one's blue, next one is green. Then yellow. Finally, red. Heck yeah. Another one somewhere back there. Oh. It's doing pretty good with shotgun ammo, but I'm definitely losing quite a bit of it. Down to 22 shots? Yeah. Yeah, this is like the really nasty kind of stuff. I'm expecting there to be extra creepy things. In the, like in the operating prep room, intensive care unit. Especially the operating room itself. You know, before I do anything else... Let's go unlock the door to the elevator.
There's no real reason to waste the ammo on them, is there? Nah. Base room, uh, <laughs> base room, basement storeroom key. Yay, we're going to the basement again. God, the noise in here. Okay, intensive care unit. Disinfecting alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol bottle found in ICU at the hospital. What could I do with this? So I can't combine it with anything. Actually, I just realized you can't combine items at all, can you? You very much can in Silent Hill 2, but I guess that wasn't a thing in Silent Hill 1. So I must use it on the environment then. I was thinking of like putting it in the bottle or something. I don't know what that would do though. But for now I can't think of a use. Like probably combine it with the lighter to burn something, but burn what? Well, that's it for here. Let's go down to the basement. Why is this? Why is this taking so long? That's where there's a cutscene playing or something. Storeroom? Shotgun ammo. Jesus Christ, that's a creepy thing. What the hell is it? Cabinet of some kind? It really sticks out though. Nothing inside. Hmm, obvious scratch marks on the ground. It can be moved. Oh yeah, look. This is just one half of the storeroom, so there's a lot more space. Do you want to push the cabinet? Yes. 
That's a bad door. Let's go in it. Nothing special in the box, nothing to worry about. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like if I step on that, it's gonna fall out from under me. Looks like a hallway under the grate. Can't move it since the vines have grown around it. This is probably what the isopropyl alcohol and the flame is for. Oh, I can't even walk on it if I wanted to. Okay, well, let's try to burn it. GTE overclocking that I did a while ago might be causing those... You notice how some of the actions in in-game cutscenes are, like, super sped up? But just a few of them? Yeah, I think the GTE overclocking is probably causing that. I'm okay with it, though, because it's been pretty minor so far, and, and that option vastly improves performance. Huh. I don't want to go down here. Fuck. What the hell is wrong with this hospital? Uh, that is such a brilliant camera angle. And camera movement. <laughs> Slowly stretched to the end of the hallway. And I can't, I can't control the camera at all here. I feel like I'm about to be chased by Pyramid Head or something. If they're even in this game. Don't have a map for this place. Switch back to the pistol for now. It's jammed. Okay, maybe I should use a shotgun. Hold on, how's my health? Oh, it's green, we're fine. Yeah, for groups that are mobbing me, definitely shotgun. Sixteen shots left. I thought it took six shots to take him down, but I guess it's eight. Oh no, VHS tape. You know what I'm really curious about? How are we gonna get out of here? Just back out the way we came, I guess? I guess that hasn't locked behind us, I hope. What the hell's gonna be on this bloody videotape? Literally a bloody videotape. Oh. 
Okay. That's fine. What the fuck? I think I'm gonna leave. this looks like someone's been here Alessa that's the person we saw yeah that's the person we saw um, right after we fought the lizard thing we woke back up in the boiler room of the school saw them for a couple seconds before they just disappeared Alessa. Alessa? Examination room key. A bed? What's it doing here? Who would... Let's run the hell out of here, then. I do not want to be down here any longer. Ah. Oh. God, it feels freeing to be back up here. Is this room bloodier than it was before, or is, did I just forget how bloody it was? been saved in forever. I know there's a couple save points, but I don't 100% know where they are. Right, so two things to do at this point. We have a key and we have a VHS tape. I think I want to check out the tape first. The tape was marked on the map. On floor three, I guess? Yeah, room 302. Oh, it's actually the VHS room where there's a save point. Right, what's on this tape? found in the second floor hospital basement. I don't think that helps me. Like, I don't think it gives me a password or anything like that. So what do I make of what we heard? I'm gonna play it again. Oh, you can't play it again. I think the VCR broke. VCR seems broken, it doesn't play. That's weird, we still have the tape. Why would I still have the tape? It must be used for something else, right? But yeah, it sounded like some sort of a recording of um, hospital staff dealing with a patient. Something about like no pulse, something like that, skin, something, something. Sounded like a patient was probably 
dying and they weren't sure what to do. So obviously something very bad was happening. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head down to the first floor and use the key to the examination room.